I'm here today to talk to you about a man who killed dozens. Rambo the video game is probably one of the worst shooting games I think I've ever played, and even a solid contender for one of the worst games ever made. John Rambo. And it's good that he's dead. I saw all the trailers and gameplay videos much like everybody else. I watched on as other gamers ridiculed the game for its horrible visuals and cheesy action, and yet I still refuse to admit the inevitable truth. I thought at the very least, even a bad game based off the three films could still be to some extent enjoyable, and yet here I am admitting like a total asshole just how fucking wrong I was. It's probably no secret by now, but the game is an on-rails first-person shooter. Repeat that with me. On-rails first-person shooter, which features levels adapted from the three films. In case you haven't seen the films, in which case I ask you what the hell you've been doing with your life, they basically revolved around a Vietnam veteran named John Rambo, who's good at losing his shit and killing people, usually at the same time. Taeon, the development team responsible for this masterpiece, have done a really good job of recreating some of the film's more iconic scenes. They have got Sylvester Stallone in the game as well, even if it is just sound clips taken from the films, and I have to admit, I did have a good time here and there when the theme music kicked in as I mowed down legions of soldiers with a 50 cal or from the pilot seat of a chopper. But these few moments are fleeting and ultimately overshadowed by the multitude of things wrong with this game. Firstly, just look at it. Now look, I'm not one to make fun of a game's graphics, and anyone who's seen the types of games that I play knows that it's pretty low down on my list of priorities. But the problem with Rambo's visuals isn't the overall quality, more so the overall consistency. Looking average is fine, I can deal with that, but bordering between average and then positively last gen isn't cricket. Some of the environments are even photorealistic at times, whereas other areas, and more importantly the character models, look like something from the early 2000s. Gameplay generally falls into three categories. Stealth, where you have to quickly take out enemies in a very specific order, usually with Rambo's knife and bow. Quick time events, where you have to mash a series of buttons to an on-screen prompt. And lastly, the most common, combat, where you just go nuts and shoot everything that moves. And yet all of these are chock full of problems. Stealth, for instance, has a very lean margin of error. If you miss a prompt or don't kill an enemy in time, it's usually a mission fail and checkpoint restart. Quick time events are also very dependent on your reaction time and missing a button press will again result in a mission fail and restart. It's over. I've never been fond of quick time events and I'm even less fond of them on a mouse and keyboard setup. They suck. And lastly, the combat is the most boring and tedious shooting I think I've experienced in recent years. As mentioned earlier, the game is on rails, which means you don't control your movement, only your crosshair, but you still see your weapon on screen like a standard first person shooter. There is a sort of cover system where you can crouch in different directions to avoid taking damage, which feels like something straight out of Time Crisis, and it does affect the way the game feels overall. It's very arcadey in the way that you often just get dropped in one particular spot and have to kill everyone on screen before you move to the next preset area. It's mind-numbingly boring stuff, despite how many explosions and other bells and whistles the game tries to throw at you. You just sit there repeatedly clicking on enemies' heads for that much-coveted headshot before moving on to the next wave of brain-dead idiots and doing it all over again. Killing enemies will earn you points, which increases your overall rank. At the end of each mission, if you've managed to level up, you can spend points on new skills and upgrading your base abilities, like damage resistance and weapon proficiency as well as perks, which can do things like increasing your overall experience gain or improving your reload times with weapons. Yet even when you've leveled up a fair bit, this is still a frustratingly hard game. How well you do will just depend on how fast you can click on those heads. There's no med kits or anything like that to replenish your health, and instead you have to go into something called Wrath Mode. where you gun down as many bad guys as possible, refilling the health meter with each kill. But if you haven't got Wrath Mode available, or you use it at the wrong time, well then, you're just up shit creek. Later in the game, there's guys that throw grenades at you, soldiers with heavy machine guns that knock your crosshair around, and even CO-type enemies that boost the damage of every other soldier on the screen. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I get it, it's supposed to be hard like an arcade game, that's all well and good, but at least in the arcade games when you died, they let you pick up where you left off. They didn't drop you five minutes back at the last checkpoint. 
nor did they impose a limit on how many times you could restart. That was just dependent on how much money you were willing to spend. It's over. If, like me, you sucked at a few of these levels, you'll probably end up spending a lot of time replaying through them. It doesn't help that half the time the so-called cover system fails at doing just that, covering you. The last level in particular handed my ass to me over and over again, and the difficulty just comes out of nowhere. It reminds me of the last levels from those side-scrolling beat-em-ups where they'd make you fight all the bosses again just to mess with you. What you've really got here is a game that strives to be both an arcade shooter and a first-person shooter, borrowing a lot of elements from each genre, but not really nailing any of them. I can see this game being kind of fun if you were to play the co-op mode with a friend. You know, if the two of you just got some beers and a pack of chips and just broed out, making fun of all the dumb shit you come across. But playing it solo or in any other mindset is just lunacy. Everything bad you're going to hear about this game is sadly true, and it's just so atrocious on practically every level that there's no way I'd recommend it to anyone. There is a leaderboard and a bunch of thinly veiled achievements to complete for unlockable weapons, but even then, combined with the story mode, you're still probably looking at about 3 or 4 hours total game time. It's not worth the full price they're charging, not by a long shot. Far Cry 3 did Rambo better than Rambo ever could, and if you want a game that lets you sneak around jungles murdering mercenaries, then that's a safer bet. Hell, even the goddamn Sega Genesis game is better than this.